that feeling when you thought you were filming for 10 minutes, but you weren't. It's good times. Well, I already filmed the whole like opening of the bottle and stuff, so you're just gonna have to imagine it, I guess. So you guys know how difficult it is to find things right now. Stores are just out of stock, understandably so. So you can imagine my excitement when I went into a bodega the other day and I found one of my favorite beers of all time that feels pretty difficult to find. This is the Goose Island Beer Company Belgian Style Ale. It is called Matilda. It is so crisp, it is so refreshing. I'm feeling all the spring summer vibes. Mm it's really doing it for me. So today I thought I would show you my go-to bronzy peachy glowy look. This is the look I gravitate toward every single day. It's going to make people stop and ask you did you just get back from vacation when we all very well know no one just got back from vacation. First I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Illuminating Pure Canvas Primer and before this I just did like my daily skincare. I did my vitamin C serum, a little bit of moisturizer. This right here is actually kind of a moisturizer in and of itself and it really helps seal in skincare. So you don't have to go too intense with your moisturizer beforehand. So I'm basically rotating between three different foundations right now. I have my Bite Change Maker Foundation, my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation, which is the least amount of coverage. And then I have my Fenty Foundation, which is the highest amount of coverage. <sighs> I think I have to do my bite change maker. I've just, I can't get away from it. It's so good. And I am using my BK Beauty sponge. Damn, I'll tell you what, that foundation blends like a dream. So now I'm going to go in with my Glossier Stretch Concealer. This is my go-to concealer for, you know, the dewiest, freshest looks. I mean, I haven't set my foundation yet, but can you see how luminous and dewy this already looks? So now I'm going to go in with a combination of two different shades of cloud paint. I don't use this a lot, but I just kind of want to use it today. This is in Dawn and this is Storm. That right there is how much I'm using of each. And I'm just going to mix them together with my finger. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. stipple brush to blend this in. We're going to take it a little bit up into the temple. Now I'm going to take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Diffused Light, and I'm going to use that as my finishing powder. I'm going to put something with a little bit more coverage underneath my eyes because I find that if I use my Glossier Stretch Concealer, I do need to set it really, really well, or there can be like a little bit of a raccoon eye situation happening. So for that, I will take my ColourPop Translucent Setting Powder and just set that under eye area. Now we're coming up on the star of the show, which is bronzer. I am going to be using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I seem to not be able to put down as of late. And I'm using my Refer P22 brush. So I start in the middle of my forehead and just work the bronzer downward into my temple and then my cheek, making sure that it's really, really well blended. You want to make sure you get it really, really close to the hairline so it looks natural. I also like to do the bridge of my nose because that's where the sun hits. And I work through this gradually, so if I want to be a little bit more bronzed, I'll just dip back into that bronzer and do another coat. There's just something about this butter bronzer that gives you the most perfect sun-kissed glow ever. I mean, look, you can see a little bit of just a very subtle sheen to my forehead area. And then I like to just go back in with that perfecting powder I used and just make sure everything is just absolutely perfectly blended. This is a brand new product that I just got from Glossier. It is their Sky Wash, which is a soft wash of matte color for eyes. Guys, I got this in two different shades and I'm in love with it. It's so easy to use. It's very much like their Lid Stars. You can blend it in with your finger. You can use a brush, except of course, this is matte. This has a shimmer to it. So this shade is Palm, which is a golden beige.
it stays all day. There's no creasing. It's just so easy to apply. I mean, that is a one and done situation if I've ever seen it. I mean, you guys know how much I love Glossier. I think I've tried almost every single product they've ever made. I have to say, this is probably one of my most favorite. Up there with Boy Brow, up there with Cloud Paint. I'm gonna have to do it right now. Glossier Skywash, good job. I'm gonna go in with the aforementioned Boy Brow. Damn, still my favorite brow product, period. So I am pulling out another Glossier product. I'm realizing that this sort of became an inadvertent dedicated video to Glossier, which I didn't mean it that way, but you know what? We're just gonna go with it. So this is my Glossier Halo Scope in the shade Quartz. This is their most universally flattering Halo Scope shade. And I'm just going right along my cheekbone into that C shape, into the temple. I have to tell you, I wore this when I was visiting Sarah and she's like, what is on your cheeks? And I was like, it's glossy a halo scope and she said i was constantly trying to find like where your highlighter began and ended because it's that magical of a product i always take one finger and hit this point right here you know what i mean like it's the top of my cheekbone it's sort of the money spot for highlight right like when you laugh when you smile that gets all glistening and it just looks like angel skin also we're going to be super extra today and we are going to take it on this high point of our forehead this is actually something that bailey syrian does a lot when i watch her tutorial and I just think it looks so glowy and gorgeous. Yes, yes. Cupid's bow coming at ya. Okay, I probably should have done this before the highlighter, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. I'm gonna add just a little bit of powder blush. I'm gonna go in with my NARS Orgasm X, which anytime someone recently has asked me what blush I'm wearing, it's always this one. It, with the exception of my Natasha Denona Love Palette, which also has a shade that's almost exactly like this. Okay, I know that looks like really out of control right now, but we're gonna make it better. Hold on. Just taking our powder brush with whatever powder is left on it and we're just buffing. See, this is what I'm talking about. If you feel like your blush ever goes too far, you can always take your powder brush and correct it and make it look absolutely stunning. So now I'm going to go in with a setting spray. This is my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I try to remember to do this before my mascara just because I don't want it to, you know, make my mascara transfer. Look at how that made everything look even more glistening. Just gonna curl the lurches and go in with my current favorite duo, which if you watched my last video, you know is my Lancome Monster Big First. And then I go in with my Benefit Roller Lash. Okay guys, so we're moving on to lips. This is a brand new shade in the Milani Keep It Full, which you know is one of my favorite lip glosses. It is called Sparkling Pink. Okay, I'm absolutely in love with that shade. Okay guys, so that is my finished bronzy, peachy, glowy tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just making me feel better. It's making me feel not pasty. Also, I feel like this is a makeup look that anyone can wear, any skin tone. Peachy, corally blushes are universally flattering. And who doesn't look good with glowy ass? I just got back from the tropic skin. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you are digging on my content, please do subscribe, share and like, and click that little bell right beneath the video that is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. Right now I am trying to put out more content. I'm trying to put out two videos a week which I'm aiming for every Thursday and Sunday and then of course I have my three live streams which are every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They're happy hour live streams. We drink, we chat. They're a lot of fun. If you haven't stopped by please come by. I think you'll really enjoy it. Cheers till next time. Mm. Wow.